<laughs> Hello everybody, it's that time again. We are back behind the saddle after a week away. Fantastic weekend with my dear and the family down on the Welsh coastline. We had the pick of the weather I think as it's uh, done nothing but rain ever since we left there. So we've had a fantastic week away. Topped off with our son's birthday on the uh, weekend. And then a celebratory broken fridge has put us back in the red and scrimping and scraping again. <laughs> Just what you want when you come back from holiday, innit? Anyway, nonetheless, we are back in the saddle, back in Cinderella with Bird and Pooh, who aren't really speaking to me yet because I didn't take them on holiday with me. They've been cramped up in the cupboard waiting for my return, but I am back. Uh, apologies for last week's videos, there was probably just one or two little live streams here or there. Um, I had pre-recorded some vlogs to release while I was away itself. I just obviously haven't done anything in the meantime while I was on holiday, so forgive me for that. And uh, yes, we have already been up bright and early. We've gone round the corner from the yard and tipped a steel beam. And now we're just getting to uh, Bean Road Industrial Estate to go and see the ramp putter on her, where we're going to get some docking equipment. Um, docking equipment to go up to a place near Blackpool, which is nice. So after a week away, we're going up to Blackpool now as well. Lovely jubbly. So let's go and see our stew. Get the kettle on and have a brew. <laughs> Yeah, so there she is. Sorry for leaving you, Cinders. <laughs> Bird and Pooh, I've got to get you in the vlog as well. I think I left Bird in the window, actually. But Pooh was stuck in the cupboard. Just in case someone else drove our Cinders. I think someone else took her out once or twice for a spin. All my straps have been chucked in the cupboard all the wrong way. Well, I say the wrong way round, but it's the opposite way round to what I do it, so... Not to worry, um, we're just waiting for our stew to come now, get us our dock equipment, which is stuff similar to this here, uh, it's like dot levelers kind of stuff, get them straight on the bed and get up to Lancashire with them. And what do you know, the one I showed you in the previous clip is actually the one we're going to be taking, so our stew is going to get that whacked on. They've just got to do a few um, checks on it just to make sure the legs and stuff's working okay. And then they're going to whack her on the back of our cinder. Nice, easy, straightforward Mandy. Don't know what we'll be doing after it. But um, hopefully it'll be something that'll get me in the swing of things. Because I'm, I'm still suffering the post-holiday blues, you know, where you don't want to do anything and everything seems such a chore. <laughs> Oh dear. Rightio, we're out of there. And um, just passing a place called Angle Ring, which is where we get some of the loads that we deliver from. It's where we get a lot of the uh, oversized stuff as well. Hopefully I'll get a chance to do my own big one one day. We've done some loads about 50 foot long. They're already on the channel back in the uh, previous video somewhere. I think one of them might have been called It's Not About The Length. But um, we're gonna go and get on the M6 at Junction 9 to try and beat some traffic at Junction 10. Um, whether it's worthwhile or not, I don't know. And then it's all together 120 miles up to the factory we're going to. And we've sailed straight up to the motorway with no traffic at all, so I think that might have been the right choice. 
Now it's all the way up through the multiple loads of roadworks to the M55. Looks like the M6 southbound's running well, as usual. <laughs> oh dear. No idea if anything's happened over there, but it's pretty much how it's always running, isn't it? Bumper to bumper. Although I don't want to speak too soon. And that's another set of roadworks out the way. I think that may have been the last ones now. Um, we're not far from the Falmore Viaduct, I think. I uh, just wanted to take a quick few moments just to thank each and every one of you who commented on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube wishing me and the family a very good holiday. Like I said earlier, we had a fantastic time too, so thank you for all taking the time to wish us well. And as always, thank you all for your comments and your support regardless of what you say. So um, yeah, it's good to see a lot of you still sticking around. and. Um, Yes, I apologise for the slight lack of content last week due to us not having any vlogs recorded and um, you know, we're making up for it now by a rare run up north well that's the second time within a month I think we've been north of our yard we don't do it all the time the majority of our runs will come south um, that's a nice bit of awareness by this guy here. He could see me catching up to the lorry and uh, moved across before I even indicated to. Got a nice classic car there that he's going to restore by the looks. An old Ford Cortina. Beautiful looking motor. I'm sure it'll be fine and dashing once it's finished being restored. Restored. Looks like we're going to have to go into lane 3 to get round everyone now. Don't know what's the matter with this guy. No doubt he'll put his foot down when we move out though. And here's a Nutsford Crossing. <laughs> Beautiful one of our DTs over there. Uh, Four before, what are you doing? Are you putting your foot down now? Yeah, looks like we've got the pull on the uh, rigid in front of him anyway though, so we'll just stick it out here. So it's another 34 miles to go to the M55 where we're getting off. Hopefully, there won't be too much traffic heading to the beach today. The weather's not as fantastic as it has been, but we're still expecting a little bit of traffic on the 55, but it's generally okay. Now I thought wrong, there's another set of roadworks here, down to 40 mile an hour average speed check this time. <coughs> Off at junction three of the M55. And um, it's a place called Poulton Lefid or Le Fide. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, this is the Garstang New Road. And uh, it was filtering everyone out. Seems a bit strange there, the signs. Because at first it was telling people to split into left and right lanes, yet it looked like both of them went straight on and uh, we're dropping our dock leveler uh, dock <laughs> dock leveler off at the industrial estate down the road here Fulton industrial estate um, I'm not going to reveal the co co company's name or anything like that so I'll get back to you in a second when we're unloaded It's a mobile loading platform, to be precise. I've just glanced down at the notes. Mobile loading platform. But it's on wheels, obviously. Uh, 
and a shout out to Matt who's from the area who contacted me as well last night to say he'll keep an eye out for me. Thanks for the support. That's us empty now. Just got to go back and get the paper it's sorted and that's the mess of my cupboard. I've slowly got a few tidied up but I'll wait till I've got more time and I'll sort the rest of it out. We just pulled up around the corner here at our 15 minute break as well and um, spoke to the gods, we're empty, we're going to head south and he's going to get in touch with us a bit later on. We're going to pull into some services and have a half an hour. We're on 2 hours 41 now so we've got an extra almost 2 hours and it's a rather tight little industrial estate to be honest. Can't actually navigate it without needing both sides of the road. So yes, we'll start heading south and that's where we'll pick it up from there and see what we're doing next. Just to keep coming south, that's all we've been told. So we're just coming back over the Thelwall Viaduct. Now did I call it something wrong earlier? Did I call it something by the wrong name? I got a weird feeling I did, but if I did, forgive me. Again we're over in lane 3, just overtaking these people, overtaking other people. Not a problem. We're going to have to get out into lane 2 at least anyway when the uh, split for the M um, 56 happens, I believe it's the 56. So yes, only about 4 or 5 more sets of roadworks to go. Coming up to 4 hours driving now on our way back down and um, I was going to try and make it down to the next set of services but the last set of roadworks and this one coming up now looks like they're getting rather busy and backed up so we're going to play it safe, drop into Knutsford services have ourselves half an hour, clear our taco and hopefully clear some of this uh, traffic while we're on our break but it's probably going to be like this the majority of the day oh it's looking rather full um, come on, come on, I don't even know if there's going to be a space for us anywhere. Um, there isn't many lorry spaces at all to be honest. going on to the next junction. I'll have a look how far down it is on my sat nav. See how long we got. Well we just stayed there for half an hour in the end guys. Someone pulled off not long after stopping while we was looking at the map. The next service is down with Sam Batchen. We could have possibly got down there in half an hour but I didn't chance it. So yes continue down and down and down and down <laughs> oh, I must apologise guys I'm all over the place in this video hopefully I'll be back in fine form tomorrow 30 minutes down the road and we're just half a mile away from Sandbach still so we took the right decision by having our break back there we wouldn't have made it down here uh, there was a lorry broken down in the roadworks so we had about a uh, 10 minute delay because of that. Everyone's squeezing past him. Um, we've had a call not long ago off the gods. We're gonna be 
heading straight back to the yard and then we've got to do a bit of shunting with the trailer from around the corner and then take our empty over there and then I'll assume that might be us done for the day. Well, what do you know? One of our colleagues has already brought the trailer that was loaded back anyway, so all we gotta do is take a different empty trailer over there instead. So that's saved about half an hour off our day, which is nice. So we're just going, dropping the trailer off now. Bonus. See you next time, guys. And for those loyal ones that have stayed watching right till the very end, um, we've had our instructions for tomorrow. We're going to load in the morning for Felix though, a load of steel. So it might be fabricated steel, a lot of different pieces, I don't know. All I know is we've got to load it in Birmingham and then, well, West Brom. And then head down to Felix though with it. So, uh, a rather long day tomorrow perhaps.